This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today. I'm Lisa Badeau and Ashley Sorensen's back in yes. today. Uh, it's been a while. Missed you. Uh, and, <laughs> I missed uh, you guys. You're going to be in for the, the rest of the week, but uh, we haven't been able to have you here because you've been on a fabulous vacation. Yeah, I got back from Alaska, an Alaskan adventure, so it was quite the time. Just got back. I was gone for about a week. A week? Okay, and the whole crew, right? The whole crew. There were nine of us, so it was, yeah, it was a great, <laughs> a great trip. Full, full um, adventure, full of adventure there. You can see we saw moose hiking, we went whitewater rafting. We did like all the Alaskan things that you're supposed to do. All very, uh, seeing a moose <laughs> is very Alaskan. And that it is was true. In, unreal. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen a moose, but I just, have. okay. It, yeah, it's like, wow, just They're out big. of nowhere. Yeah. And it just, yeah. Um, so here we went dog mushing. We were in Fairbanks, Alaska. So we went, we did a lot of the state too of Alaska, which it's a huge state. So we only covered a very small portion, I guess. But we flew into Fairbanks first, and that's where we were with some family friends. And here you can see the dogs. Oh, video. And so, of course, it's summer there. Yeah, However, it was about 60 degrees. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't uh, like summer here. Um, we just missed that warm weather, but they pull a like an ATV four wheeler, the dogs to train. So there's oh. like no motor, and here's even a video. So there is like she has to like engage the the brake system. So but we were going about like 10 miles an hour with the dogs pulling us. So and she's training for like the Iditarod. Okay. Her cool. mom was a four time winner. This is a family friend of Carl's dad's. Um, so that was incredible in Fairbanks. And then we took a train and we went to Denali. And there, that's where we did the whitewater rafting. So here's the train ride. We did like the glass dome, which I guess it was, <laughs> you know, it was too bad that it was raining, but at least we were inside and it was, it was a neat way to see. Beautiful. Some of the countryside there. So yeah, that was really neat. How long was the train ride? It, was it like four hours? Oh, okay. Yeah. And the and kids, the kids were all with two. Right? Yeah, they, they were with. Enjoy they everything? did. Yeah. So we had different excursions. So sometimes they didn't want to go hiking. So they did like an ATV ride with grandma and grandpa. So everyone, you know, we kind of planned the trip and, and had options available. And you know, they got a little nervous for whitewater rafting. That's where in Denali we were in um, doing that. Looks like a postcard. But, it's just then, beautiful. Yeah. This is in Seward, Alaska. So. If you remember the Olympics, Lydia Jacoby, the swimmer. Yeah, I remember. Seventeen-year-old. Yeah, she's from there. Uh, but Seward is a big fishing town. We saw a ninety-one-pound halibut. Wow. Yeah. Did you eat some halibut? Did you? Eat? I did. I went to Alaska one time, and people were pulling salmon out of their pockets everywhere <laughs> they went. We had salmon. I was going to bring cheese. some into my purse for you. You should have brought so. some salmon. They seriously had it in their bags, in their pockets. Yeah. Order. Um, yeah, here's whitewater rafting and uh, one of the hikes. One of the adventures or uh, excursions we had planned did get canceled. It was a helicopter hike in Denali, and I was really, I've never been in a helicopter, so that was really exciting. But there was a hypothermia like warning. War oh, really? I know. So we're like, okay, yep, yeah, we, we better not go. So instead, we went hiking. But yeah, this was the kayaking in Seward, and I, I will have to maybe bring you some. Uh, smoked salmon. His uncle lives in Anchorage, so then we made our, we continued our trip from Fairbanks to Denali to Anchorage, and then we went to Seward also. This is actually in Girdwood. That was a really cool picture. We were up above the clouds. Wow. So Carl was making all the good dad jokes about being, you know, in the cloud. I love you know, it. The, I know, it was so funny. Um, but this is a beautiful, like, ski resort. Alieska is what it's called. Um, so if you're into skiing, this would be a great place to go back. So we rode like a tram there. You'd be a um, great tour guide or marketing person for Alaska. <laughs> Look at this. This is why you should go to Alaska. Amazing. Do all the things, and you know. And you did a lot. So you were there for one a week. week. Yep. Okay. A week. And yeah, here's the little puppies. So they were just these little fur balls. And so now I have puppy fever too. And <laughs> oh, I love no. it. And so I thought I heard you say you thought it was going to be warmer. So it was yes. a little cooler, a little more rain than? Well, I mean, we looked prior, so we knew it was going to be a little cooler, but yeah, it, we just missed the like 80, 90 degree weather that they had, and it was like 60. Oh, yeah. And then, but then know, if it would have been too hot, it would have been hot for hiking. Right, yeah. And we had, 
so and that's all Alaska is layering. So we would just layer, layer, layer. So, and I did really well packing. I was impressed with you my overpack? packing ability. Oh, I yeah, okay, I maybe did a little, maybe okay. a little, but we didn't underpack. I made a point to try and wear most everything that I brought, though. That's smart. So. Then, then no one can complain because you wore everything. Right. Yeah. It. So. Well, and then, then you're back great. here. We were also giving you a hard time because last night, uh, major oh, yes. like storm yeah. blowing through. And uh, if we take a look out <laughs> at the sky cam, everything is wet and just looks super weird. Uh, but I get to work, you know, at like four. Right. I get up usually at three, but I was up at two because the, the thunder and the lightning storm. was so loud. Yeah. And I know when we were here at like 4 a.m., it sounded like the building was struck. Was, like yeah. all of us were like, it was like the building shook. So, but you slept through and it. And I slept through it. <laughs> I know that you guys were talking about it. I'm like, you know, Carl mentioned it, <laughs> but didn't hear I didn't realize it. it was that loud. Normally I would wake up. So I, you're just tired from your vacation. Uh, yeah. Nothing can wake you right. up. Right. Oh, I mean that, that is a time. Well, it's a three hour time difference. So yeah, it takes you a while to, to anyway. catch you back up. But yeah, storms. Well, a lot of us are tired from the overnight storms and uh, our storm team is talking about more rain coming in tonight. So make sure you have that uh, VNL weather app. Just tune in tonight yeah. to maybe uh, it'll keep you up tonight. And then <laughs> yes. you can be in the same boat as all of us. On alert. <laughs> <laughs> It was rough. I thought it was rough overnight. Uh, we also want to take a quick minute to say thank you to all of our viewers who uh, took part in the Golden Drive. Mm -hmm. Sue Barron, who's on our show a lot, right. you probably met yep. her. She uh, called and said, oh my goodness, people came through. They were looking for donations and she sent us some pictures. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, she said wow. people came through. They dropped off a ton of things. You can see they were looking for uh, food. There's, you know, a ton of soap, you know, those personal care items. Right. It was all collected during the Golden Drive uh, relief event and they also were raising money at the Cashwise barbecue that was just a few weeks back so anyway it's always just nice to see you know how people came right. through and how people really answer that call to exactly. action exactly the golden That's drive great. and Sue Barron uh, just an awesome awesome woman I love her passion yeah so much energy and coming up a little later in the show uh, we're going to be talking about the Paralympics yeah. all this week probably we're going to be featuring some really cool Olympic or Paralympic athletes it's yeah. as well but our producer found some really cool video of how they're uh you know kind of kicking off because it starts today uh and people in tokyo had their cameras toward the sky as japan's air self-defense force aerobotics team soared overhead this is uh, actually just video of the the athlete that we're going to be uh featuring a little bit later but all good things when it comes to if you're maybe still sad because you're missing the Olympics. Olympics yeah. Check out the and these Olympics. athletes are amazing. These Paralympics and their stories oh. behind. Yep, my favorite yeah. part for sure. All right, so we'll grab have a great some Kleenex. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it is always a little no. emotional hearing what they have to do and yeah, the sacrifices. To overcome. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, we have a great show planned for you. Coming up next, we're going to sit down with the superintendent of Fargo Schools to find out what is new for students this year.